Sebastian Rogers is still missing, and his biological father is desperate for answers. A piece of the puzzle is missing, and I 100% agree with him. What happened to Sebastian? This child didn't just vanish into thin air, I strongly believe someone knows something. After getting numerous comments about red flags in the interviews that Sebastian's mother and stepdad did, I decided to take a closer look. The latest interview was just two days ago, and in this interview, Chris Proudfoot, Sebastian's stepdad does most of the talking. The one thing that stood out to me is when Chris talked about giving away Sebastian's snake. My heart was very sore to hear that because in this picture, Sebastian is holding his snake, and he looks so happy and proud. He sure loves that snake. Chris said that Sebastian stopped properly taking care of the snake, and that made him decide to give Sebastian's snake away, as well as all the other snakes they had at the time. They gave the snakes away to Chris's friend. It must have been so upsetting for Sebastian. We know that Sebastian is on the spectrum, and dealing with such a sudden change must have been difficult. The snake. Tell me about the snake. Why did you get rid of the snake? Or y'all got rid or decided together, or tell me about the snake. I okay, so, right. So to, to answer your question about the snakes, we'll, we'll start at the beginning of the snakes. So, I've used, a long time ago, I actually used to breed reptiles. Snakes, cargo, reptiles, all kinds of stuff. You name it, just about reptiles. I used to breed it. Love reptiles, one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. uh, in California, we actually had a snake. Um, they had a bearded dragon. It died. Mm -hmm. um, but we wound up getting a snake. Well, Sebastian liked it. They is me and Bubba. We had a beardy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Um, but we had a salmon team, Bubba. Uh, Sebastian liked the idea of having a snake. Well, oh, he loved that thing. He He's never had one that was his snake, his own snake. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, mind you, when I do something, I go all in. I just, I don't half-ass do it. So, <clears throat> you know, I bought, purchased, however, I've got friends that are in that world still that are in that business, and we all chit-chat. And, um, and uh, I wind up coming across, basically, I had like about 30 snakes at one given time. Mm -hmm. um, all of them were ball pythons. Mm -hmm. I, didn't do, I didn't have anything retic. I didn't have anything massive poisonous or anything like that. Well... Sebastian was infatuated with one of the snakes that one of the breeders I deal with had. And it's the picture that the snake that you see in the picture that's wrapped around his arm. That yeah. is his personal pastel ball python named Brown. That is his personal snake. He loved them. Um, the downside, like it got to the point with work, with mom's work, my work. And I told Sebastian, I said, you know, having a snake, snake means responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You're going to clean it. You're going to have to feed it. You're going to water it. You're going to do all that stuff. And he if actually you don't, did. He what, Katie? I said, and he did for a little while. And then he stopped. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And parenting is, and, and I think everybody understands this. When you're a parent, you're not just your, your kid's best friends. You're not. That's not what your job is. Your job is to be a parent. And I told Sebastian, if you don't, she's gone. And he thought I was kidding. Nope. So when I got rid of one, I got rid of them all. Now, when I say got rid of them, a friend of mine, local in Nashville, he got them because he's a good breeder, great guy. And he's like, if you ever want him, come get him, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, man, appreciate it. But right now, he's not he's not doing what he's supposed to do. So right now, we're not going to just hang tight with him. Chris also talks about another instance where Sebastian wouldn't clean his room properly. And Chris would go in there with a trash bag and start throwing things away. He would make Sebastian take the trash with his belongings outside. Seems a little drastic. Do you guys think a stepdad should have this much say when it comes to discipline? Anyway, here is another part of the interview that was worrying to me. Chris admits to hitting Sebastian with a belt on the butt outside of his clothes. As time goes by and more information comes out, I worry for the safety of this precious little boy. Uh, I'm going to try to find a great one. <laughs> did, did you ever use a belt on him? Have I ever used a belt on Sebastian? Yes. Okay. Outside of his clothes, on his buttocks. Okay. 